your furry. Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is Tristan, he's a corgi, and we're here for another episode, I think it's 120 now, of conversations with a corgi. And I am so excited today because we are gonna ta be talking about one of my favorite topics because this amazing healing modality has helped me and so many of my animal friends so much. And not many people know very much about it. So what we are going to be talking about starting today in a little series is, or are, tuning forks. And a lot of us might remember tuning forks from our childhood. Um, maybe the music teacher coming around to the classroom had um, a pitch pipe that she would hum, and then we'd all sing, row, row your boat at the same, hopefully, <laughs> at the same uh, harmony and level of um, octaves and all of that. So... Tuning forks are similar to the pitch pipe because it gives you a sound that um, will allow the sounds around it to adjust. And your body is an infinite number of sounds and vibrational frequencies all working together to create your health and wellness. And the tuning forks are just a brilliant way to be able to work with your body frequencies and all different organ systems and tissues in your body have different frequencies, which we'll talk about later. And the tuning forks, well, tomorrow or the next day, and the tuning forks just really help align those frequencies and bring them up to a higher vibration, which is a vibration of health and wellness. And one of the amazing things for me about the tuning forks is that they work so well with so many of the modalities that I already use in my healing work with animals. And so I've been really excited about finding these forks. And it's interesting, the person that developed the ones that I use, the Biosonics fork, um, he tells a story, uh, a couple of different stories. One, he was sitting in um, like a sensory deprivation chamber. He was stressed out. He was a grad student, I believe, at the time. And a friend had one. And he went in there to just be quiet for a little while. And he was really aware of different frequencies, sounds emanating from his body. He could hear the sounds of blood and other tissues in his body when he was in a booth with no sight, no, no other outside light, nothing to touch, just sound and you know, quiet, dead air with no sound at all. So he became aware of these um, frequencies of the body. And of course, many other people have looked at this as well since then, but that was his personal experience. And then I love this other story of he decided that he would um, make some tuning forks at that same frequency that we could use with the body um, as a healing modality. And he was living out in this area at the time and driving on the New York Thruway. And he had a few tuning forks on the front seat of his car. And he was going to the place where they make these biosonic forks that I use. And he was pulled over. And the cop said, you know, you know you're speeding, blah, blah, blah. And then he saw a fork like this laying on the front seat of the guy's car and the cop asked several questions about them and it turns out that they adjust the speeding radar with tuning forks and so I don't even know that this guy was going to the biosonics factory at that point but he uh, learned from the cop where to get these forks and in fact the fork they use the sound vibration they use to adjust the radar detectors is a G and that was one of the levels of forks he was looking for because prior to that, all he had was a tuning fork for like a middle C to like tune up an orchestra or something. And other forks were made, it was just difficult to find them. And so his story is really interesting because it shows that, you know, the knowledge and wisdom of the use of tuning forks extends, you know, from the police using it to adjust their radar detectors right down to people that are using tuning forks for healing. And so I love that story. And that is how he connected with the Biosonics um, factory or whatever, where they make these forks. So it was really a lucky thing that he got pulled over that day. Once again, speaking to that idea that I love that everything is not a coincidence. It's all a synchronicity and things happen for a reason. So let's talk a little bit more about tuning forks. Um, if your body needs a bit of a tune-up, which 
is you know a way that we talk about this but in fact there really is the idea of a tune-up for your body meaning that we bring everything into the same frequency to promote health and wellness and a tuning fork is a perfect way to get that tune-up and a tuning fork works in the same way that um, we use them to tune a piano and that's why we have the middle C was because we tuned a piano as you see behind me to the sounds uh, around that middle C and so when I strike a C on my piano here I don't know if you can hear it but the other strings in the back of the piano all vibrate at the same time as the sound of this note which is why you have this, the note ringing and lasting so long when you strike it. It's because all of those strings in the back of the piano are vibrating. Tristan says, I don't hear the piano that much. <laughs> One day you'll play it. So this idea of resonance is really important in our work with tuning forks because a fork vibrates at a certain frequency and it can use that idea of resonance to bring your body up to the same vibration as the fork that's being used around it or on it. The sound of all of the tuning, well, the sound of the tuning forks um, can alter the body's biochemistry and bring harmony to the body's systems, particularly the nervous system, the muscular system, the organ system, and the bony systems of the body. The tuning forks also can create a state of deep relaxation in the body within seconds. And I've seen that happen over and over with nervous animals at my house or with a nervous horse. Um, I use what they call the ohm fork, which has a very deep vibrational sound that is, we hardly can hear it, but you'll be able to hear it at some point. I'll try to play it for you. Um, and that really is relaxing and really helps an animal quiet and find steadiness. Tuning forks can reduce stress and increase blood flow and enhance the immune system in the body. And again, by raising that frequency from a lower point to a higher point, you really can bring about a whole sense of wellness in all of the body systems. And tuning forks have been used with lots of other healing modalities. And I have to say nearly every massage therapist or acupuncturist or anyone I've gone to or met in town here where we have um, one body worker for every you know, three body, three people, one body worker for every three people. I think I've never been in an office without at least one tuning fork there. And people don't use them and they don't know what they're for, but I show them and then they're delighted to have them because tuning forks can be really powerful. So they have a lot of um, enhancing effects when they're used with some of the other healing modalities, particularly energy work, which is why we're talking about them after I did my series on chakras, because I use them on the chakras very often, and they can be a really instrumental part of working with any kind of chakra healing, which would include even hula hooping that I do for chakras, as well as Reiki. And people, as I mentioned, use tuning forks in their practice with massage and sports rehabilitation, um, yoga, I've used it with yoga, hypnosis, psychotherapy, meditation practices, and of course I've used tuning forks with craniosacral therapy, polarity therapy, lots of pain management techniques use tuning forks in their practice as well, and really importantly, um, acupuncture and acupressure um, have really close connections to work with the tuning forks because you can actually uh, stimulate the meridians with the sounds of the forks or with the vibrations of the forks. And that can be really important to clear channels and a lot of um, health, um, lack of health and um, dysfunction in the body is from stagnation at different points in the body in either the fascial system, the meridian system, and tuning forks can be really useful to clear that stagnation. And of course, I have used tuning forks um, in conjunction with joint manipulation and veterinary orthopedic manipulation and um, in a way that uh, would seem kind of chiropractic because I'm using them really on the bony structures of the body, but I've had huge success with animals using tuning forks on the bony structures of the body. So that's another way that you can use them. The benefits of using the tuning forks include the deep relaxation you get almost in seconds sometimes. As I said, when I use that ohm fork in the presence of a nervous cat or a nervous horse, it can bring about relaxation really almost instantly. It can improve mental clarity for you and your pets. 
it increases your physical energy and as well as your mental concentration. Um, it can enhance a massage session, a dream work session, or a meditation session. Um, tuning forks can be really an important part of your health and wellness program. And you really only need one fork to get started with that and to have a lot of success. And um, I, like many people, bought this one particular fork to start my work with tuning forks and then saw how successful that was and immediately followed it up with some others. Um, you can also balance the nervous system really well with tuning forks and you can use the tuning forks to integrate the right and left brains and to find spiritual peace and clarity. And to that end, I have using tuning forks quite a bit um, with animals in hospice care and when animals are crossing the rainbow bridge. And I find them particularly useful in these cases because there's something about the high frequencies of the angel tuners, which are tiny little forks, um, that really seems to help an animal find peace during the transition process. Or people, I've also used them with people um, when I was working in a nursing home. I'm sure that the nurses didn't know what I was doing in there playing tuning forks for these senior fellows when they were passing, but I think it really helped them. It's similar to, um, in a lot of hospice care now, people are playing harps um, for people that are crossing over. And sure, the harp has this romantic association with being, um, and actually I have one here, um, with being used by angels. And so that makes sense that you'd wanna hear harp music when you're crossing over. But more to the point, it's a big stringed instrument with a lot of strings. And when those strings vibrate, just like the piano here, when I play that C, that's a higher C, all of the other strings are vibrating with it. So when someone comes to someone in hospice care with a harp and plays the harp, that vibration goes throughout that person's body and helps relax their body and smooth tension. And that is part of the crossing over process is that release. So it's really important sometimes to be able to bring music to someone in hospice care. And I bring the tuning forks with me when I am working with an animal that's crossing the rainbow bridge and when I'm there participating in their hospice care. Um, they're really, really important for that. And tuning forks can really affect aspects of our mental, physical, and emotional and spiritual bodies. Um, in a way that nothing else can because we it can they can vibrate at a really high frequency and sure i'm you know there's some thought that healers like really profoundly gifted shamans and healers actually their body their whole body is vibrating at a high frequency and part of when you're doing the healing work you're bringing up the vibration of the body that you're working with and certainly that is true i think and the tuning forks can just enhance that process and when you're in a sick or diseased state the vibrational frequency of your body is much lower and so you need something with high vibrations to bring you up and that's why people love to go to music concerts because the vibrations of the music go through your body and you leave there feeling happier than when you went which is one reason i love to dance i go to places to dance with loud music that's happy everyone there is happy the energy of the happiness fills my body and the people around me and we are all just in a better place than when we got there. Music is really, really powerful. And with our animals, it's also really powerful. Um, the frequency of the tuning forks can affect all the frequencies in our bodies, and it also can alter our body's biochemistry. So the tuning forks have a lot of documented benefits, um, although sometimes it's hard for people to understand that idea, but it all comes back to resonance. If one string is vibrating, all the ones around it are vibrating a little bit as well, just like with people. If you're in a room with a lot of happy people, you start to feel happy. If you're at a place like a funeral and you're feeling sad, um, everyone around you is feeling sad, and it's really hard to feel happy in that circumstance, especially if you've lost a loved one, it's very difficult. So frequency is a really important concept to understand as well as that idea of resonance because you attract what you are and that just builds you up. And so being around people with low frequencies who are grumpy and mean um, and hostile brings your frequency down and puts you in a state of um, potential for un lack of health. So um, you can use the tuning forks on your body or around your body. Um, you can use them alone or in pairs or multiples. And I'll show you some of the ones I have. 
part of using the tuning forks um, that I like with craniosacral therapy is because of the idea that motion is health. When you have motion in your body and motion in your tissues, that is healthy tissues. And when you see an animal limping, part of what you're seeing there is a lack of motion in the joints in that leg or in the back that is causing that disease state. So that is a lack of motion. You want maximum motion for maximum health and mobility. And I have to say, for those with corgis watching this, because you know we are conversations with a corgi, I use the tuning forks with my DM corgi, and I saw much more improvement using the tuning forks than I did with any of the other modalities I tried. I did craniosacral therapy, I did T-touch. T-touch is pretty effective. Um, but again, I'm doing it over acupressure points and things like that, which just magnifies its effect. But the tuning forks seem to be really, really beneficial for my corgis with DM and really helped them feel better, even if like emotionally feel better, even if they didn't actually create any healing. I mean, the whole process of DM, um, it's pretty hard to demonstrate that you can stop it or um, slow its progression. I do feel like with both of my dogs, I slowed its progression. Um, certainly in the early stages, the onset was a lot later than it is for a lot of corgis. And my corgis all died when they were 16, which is pretty old for a dog with DM. So I do think the tuning forks were an important part of that process, but I have no way to prove that other than to say that my dogs lived a pretty long time. And I, I have pictures of Comet smiling with the tuning forks on him because he did feel better. And that idea of motion where there is no motion is really important to understanding how the tuning forks work. And also that idea of like attracts like. If you've heard my sister, Dr. Judy Morgan, talk about feeding heart to a dog with a heart problem, that is like attracts like. The same is true with resonance and vibrational frequencies. The high frequencies of some of the tuning forks will elevate the frequencies in your body. And that idea that you go to places where there are happy people because you feel good there, like when you're on vacation, <laughs> that is part of like attracts like. That happiness spills over to you and makes you feel better too. Um, dysfunction in a joint or at a point of injury or in scar tissue um, often results in restricted motion, lack of motion. And uh, part of what I love about being a physical therapist is that the whole field is built around restoring motion where there is no motion. And that really plays in well with the idea of alternative medicine that, you know, with many of the things I do to restore motion and motion is health and tuning forks help bring about motion. And I love them because they do it in a gentle vibrational way. That vibration is subtle. And sometimes when you're in a lot of pain after a recent injury, the tuning fork can really um, bring about, you know, increased fluid exchange at the injured tissues and restore motion and increase the flow of um, uh, waste products out and healthy tissue in, in a way that hardly anything can. And I do think that like if I put my hands on someone who just injured their knee, um, I'm doing the same thing as the tuning fork. I'm using the high vibrations of my body's frequencies to try to help that person who now has low vibrations in the frequencies of their injured knee, bring that back up to a healthy functional state. So you can restore motion with the tuning forks used on the body or around the body. Um, the vibrational therapy, as I call it, helps to invite stuck energy to move through the body and to get out so that you have mobility. Um, and stuck energy can be old memories of things that happened that were bad. They can be um, stuck energy like scar tissue from an injury. It can be spiritual stuck energy like you're wondering why am I here? What does it all mean when you're 16 years old? Some of that can stay with you even when you're 40. And so the tuning forks can really help address that. Um, vibrational therapy has been um, really research in ways like with subtle um, chemical techniques and um, electrical techniques. And so there is a lot of credibility to vibrational therapy, even though it seems kind of out there. And a guy named Becker wrote a book called The Body Electric. It's an amazing book. I can't recommend it enough. And of course, he, he got the title from Walt Whitman's poetry, I Sing the Body Electric. And our body really is a lot of electrical frequencies, particularly our nervous system. But I just um, wrote an article about the fascial system. And the fascial system, um, which is this like protective white layer 
um, well, it looks white, it's kind of clear, translucent, all through the body. And every little cell is surrounded with fascia and then they're bundled together to make like muscle tissue. And then um, like your skin is connected to your body through fascia. Fascia is an amazing thing and it's um, what it will do is wall off an injury um, like putting chewing gum in your hair and then your rest of your hair can float but you have that one little spot that's stuck from the chewing gum and that's how fascia works. So when you use tuning forks or lots of the other modalities, I do Reiki and craniosacral therapy and T-touch, you can free up where that chewing gum is stuck so that you get mobility back. And fascia is an interesting thing because um, electrical current travels faster on fascia than it does on nervous tissue. So fascia is a really interesting part of our body and of our animals bodies. And it can be really critical to release the fascia. There's many ways to do that. Um, some better than others, but I do lots of them. Um, and tuning forks is one of the things I do to release fascia, but having a free mobile fascial system is what part of what we love about our animals. When you see your dog running happily in a field and he's not limping and his ears are up and he's smiling, his fascia is moving well and he feels great. The same with a horse. When I see horses playing and they're in the pasture and they're running and turning and spinning and leaping and they're just so full of joy, it's because their bodies feel good and there's no restrictions in their fascia. When you have an older horse or a horse who's done sort of repetitive stress um, with, you know, like doing a lot of one particular discipline, a lot of jumping or dressage or reining, you end up seeing some of these fascial restrictions. And when the horse is free and playing, he just, you know, there's like a hitch in his get along and you can see that. And having free fascia is a really important part of our health. So um, Becker in the Body Electric explains that a person's health can be determined by their frequency of their body. And all of the body organs have different rates of vibration, which we'll talk about in another episode. But, you know, and you can see this when you see a person who has a lot of chronic pain and they're depressed and they're emotional state is low and their physical state is low. I mean, they just have a different feeling than somebody uh, like one of my friends who teaches Reiki. She's young, she's vibrant, her body moves well. She's a, actually was used to be a dancer. She dropped out of ballet before she hurt herself. And there's just this happy and lightness about her that draws you to her. Very different than the feeling you get when you walk into the hospital room of somebody gravely ill. So really interesting that our bodies have different frequencies overall and then in each of the organ systems. So tuning forks can be used for an area of specific injury. I've used them particularly with founder and hoof abscesses with huge happy results. Really important for a horse owner. If you have a horse with hoof problems or a breed that's prone to hoof problems, tuning forks can be a really important thing and they're not that expensive. You could have one in your tack box to use with your horse for a number of things. Um, you can use them along acupuncture meridians or at acupuncture or acupressure points on the body. Um, and I use them, this is why we're following up the chakra series with tuning forks, is I often use them on the chakra centers of the body um, at the end of a session. And again, as I mentioned, when an animal is crossing the rainbow bridge, the chakras shut down slowly one after the next. And so I use the tuning forks a lot on the chakras when I'm working with a dog or, or horse or uh, person in hospice care. Um, you can use the tuning forks in conjunction with joint mobilization, as I said, as part of a chiropractic um, visit or as part of um, joint mobilization and physical therapy. And the sound can travel through the body through the acupuncture meridians, through the chakras, through the fascial system, and through the nervous system, and as well through the bones and the other organ systems of the body. So tuning forks are a really fascinating adjunct to therapy for me, for pets in particular. And there are several different forks here which I want to talk to you about briefly. The one I use the most, which they call the universal healing fork, is this one. This is a weighted C128 frequency fork. And I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that little hum? It's not a really good thing to strike it on. And that is 128 hertz. Now we have another one here that is at 136 hertz. And this is an ohm fork. It has a different sound. Mm -hmm. 
and the way that these weights are on the ends helps to maintain that vibration longer. This one's still vibrating and I don't know if you can see that Tristan is listening to it. See how he's holding his head. Cats love tuning forks. I use them every session I have with a cat. Then we have these two other forks here that I have. These are not weighted and they call these the body tuners because these are um, the frequency of many of the tissues in the body or what the tissue should be at. And notice they don't have the weight on the ends. And then we have these little guys here, which are some of my favorite ones. These are the angel tuning forks. There's three of them. They have a really high sound. And these are the ones I use a lot with hospice and with animals crossing the rainbow bridge. I'll play them for you. It's very high sound. And it makes a difference which one you strike on the other one. That time I struck this one onto that one. Now we'll do this one. It's a little bit different sound. And see the effect on Tristan? It's like so interesting how much animals like these. These high forks are really good too. I use them for uh, people and animals with a head injury because um, I can put them by the ears and go right into the brain nervous tissue and really raise up that vibrational frequency where there has been an injury. And then I have a whole set here, which I think these were the planet tuners they call them, but I use them for chakras. There's a whole set. And there are eight of them, which is really great for me because I, of course, work with animals who, as you know, if you saw my Reiki series, or my Reiki series, my chakra series, animals have eight chakras. So I'm happy to have eight forks to use on each chakra. And these are really interesting. I'll just grab a couple out here and play them for you. They start at C and they work their way up. They go one whole octave. So here is the D played on the E. And here is the E played on the D. They are a little different when you strike them on different, uh, one on the other. And some of them almost sound discordant when they're together, but the combination of the two frequencies can be really healing. So um, as much as it doesn't always sound like a beautiful sound, it's an important sound for your body. But you can see how Tristan is paying attention and I really love doing <laughs> tuning fork work with dogs like him that have big ears because you like German shepherds um, and bulldogs, French bulldogs, because they really adjust their ears to where the frequencies are resonating around their body and I find that fascinating. Also, I just want to mention, you can use a tuning fork with a double terminated crystal like this, a little quartz crystal. I have a bigger one here I use sometimes with the ohm fork. And you just put the fork on the crystal and then the vibration goes through the crystal down to the body. And boy, this crystal is vibrating so strongly. I know you probably can't see it, but it's really interesting to use it on different crystals. I almost always use it on quartz crystals and in fact I was looking on their website the other day and the Biosonics people are now selling them with a quartz crystal already built into the tuning fork so that you don't have to hold everything. And it takes a little bit of practice to hold these so that you're not inhibiting the vibration. You have to hold them gently on the surface of whatever you're using them on if you're putting them on the body um, without allowing them to tip and without touching the fork so that they can continue to vibrate. So that takes a little bit of practice. And I'll just tell you one little story about myself with tuning forks. This is how I got interested in them. I used to be a really high level professional hula hooper. Hi, Kristen Maloney. <laughs> um, anyway, and I was hula hooping at a big event and I hurt my knee. I forget what happened. I think I tripped it like I was stepping and uh, there was a little rock on the ground and it injured my right knee and hula hooping. Um, can be a very one-sided part of your body working and it can be really 
difficult and I'm not very good at spinning the hoop both ways so my right knee was getting tired and it was really hurting it was starting to swell up and there were a bunch of people at this event with tents offering healing modalities and I went to a woman who had no line in front of her tent which is why I went there because I needed emergency help right away and I don't even know I think I had Arnica with me but that was about it and I went limping in there and I said I have a problem with my knee and she just looked at it and pulled out yes indeed the my C128 fork just like this and put it on my knee in different areas of my knee and actually I was telling her where to put it and I was having her put it around the patella tendon and then on the sides where the ACL and the MCL attach um, the cruciate ligaments the medial and anterior ones and my goodness like really almost before my eyes the swelling went out of my knee the redness went out of my knee the range of motion came back all in like a minute and I forget what she was charging that day some discounted rate like $25 and I was so grateful to have my knee back in just such a short period of time and then I continued to hula hoop and use it all day long and I never had another problem with it until I did something else later on so I was really impressed with the work of the tuning forks and ever since then I have been using forks with animals in my work I have a whole collection of them as you can see um, and I'm a huge fan of vibrational healing and as far as I know I think I am the only one in the country using tuning forks really a lot in my healing work with animals um, and I have had just so many success stories which I will tell you about as we talk more about this over the next few days um, and so I I was a sold customer based on my own knees recovery and I was just hoping somebody would do Reiki or something on it just to take out some of the immediate swelling I had no idea that it could get better that fast right away and of course I've done that um, with craniosacral therapy with people but I have you know years and years of training behind me I'm a highly skilled craniosacral therapist and it would still take me Oh, 15 minutes or more to make a, a change for that person's knee whereas these tuning forks did it really in just less than five minutes so they can be really really amazing and I have to say Linda Tallington is a huge fan of the tuning forks um, because again we're working with cells in Tallington T-Touch work and cells all have a vibrational frequency and raising their frequency up to a state of health is a really important part of health in your body and health in your life so we will play a C again. Tristan, do you want to be a piano player when you grow up? Sound can be a really important part of health for our animals and for us. And tuning forks allow us to use sound in um, part of our healing work with animals and for ourselves. And you don't need to be highly skilled to use them in your own health and wellness program and I am very excited to be bringing you a little series about tuning forks in my work um, as a physical therapist, craniosacral therapist and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people and this is Tristan who's a corgi and me Sally Morgan and we are here for an episode of conversations with a corgi where we have been talking about tuning forks and we will continue to talk about tuning forks as we go through the little series over the next few days. And I feel so fortunate that my mother loves music and taught me and my sister to love music as well because music has been a big part of my life and the tuning forks um, are just more evidence that music has many healing properties and that music can be really critical in our lives and I'm so excited that there's some articles that I've worked on that will be coming out about music and pets and certainly we'll be talking more about tuning forks and their sound and their vibrational abilities to bring health. <laughs> the 
This is Sally Morgan and Tristan Corgi, and we'll see you tomorrow around 8.25 to another discussion of Tuning Forks on another episode of Conversations with a Corgi. Have a great day, everyone, and enjoy the sunshine. We finally have sunshine here in New England. <laughs>